The SunForce 60W Solar Generator Kit is a do-it-yourself off-grid battery charging solution, ideal for remote locations and backup power. This fully weatherproof kit includes four 15W amorphous solar panels, PVC mounting frame, 7 amp charge controller, 200W power inverter, and all wiring and accessories for installation. Your first step for installation is to select the location for your solar kit. An ideal location consists of even ground and maximum sun exposure. The first step is to set up your frame. Each piece of your frame is numbered. Reference the positioning shown here to assemble the frame. Your kit comes with two different lengths of screws. The shorter screws are used when assembling your frame. Use the included wing nuts to tighten. The wing nuts should be on the outer edge of the frame. Once you have completed assembly of your frame, make sure all of the wing nuts are tightly fastened. Now you are ready to attach the panels. Match the four holes on the solar panel to the four holes on the front of the frame. Use the long screws to secure the panel to the frame. Again, make sure all of the wing nuts are tightly fastened. Repeat the step for the other three panels. As always, when working with connecting wires, we strongly recommend wearing rubber gloves and protective eyewear. Each panel has its own quick connect wire. The panels are easily connected together using the 4-in-1 connector cable. An extension cord is included with the kit. Attach the 12-foot extension cord to the 4-in-1 connector cable. Use the connector to regulator wire which has pre-stripped wire on one end for connection to the 7 amp controller. Match the red wire from the charge controller to the red stripped wire on your connector. Insert both stripped wires into the wire nut and twist tightly. Repeat these steps for the black wires. Your charge controller is now in place for battery overcharge and discharge protection. You are now able to connect the 7 amp charge controller to the 12 volt battery, which is not included in this kit. The positive red wire hooks over the positive terminal of the 12 volt battery. Repeat this step for the negative black wire. The amber LED on the 7 amp controller should now illuminate to indicate charging. A green LED on the controller will indicate a fully charged battery. The last step is to connect the 200 watt inverter. A power inverter converts 12 volt DC power from the battery into usable 110 volt electricity. The correct way to connect the power inverter is using the 12 volt female socket. Ensure your inverter is in the off position by checking the on-off switch on its side. Place the DC plug from the inverter into the 12 volt female socket. The 12 volt socket has positive and negative alligator clamps. Connect the positive red alligator clamp to the positive terminal of the 12 volt battery. Repeat this process for the negative black alligator clamp. At this point, a spark may occur at the battery. This is normal and should not be a cause of concern. Turn on the power inverter. This should illuminate the green LED. An incorrect inverter connection will result in a red LED and audible alarm. Should this occur, the fuse may need to be changed. The fuse is located by unscrewing the 12 volt DC plug and replacing with a fuse of the same rating. The 60 watt solar kit is a dependable source of power, ideal for a large variety of applications.